Hi, and welcome back for the final lesson in the Early World Civilizations Read Aloud series. This lesson is entitled Islam. It's number 16. Hi, my name is Ma'ira. That means moon in Arabic, my native language. I like that my name matches the symbol of my religion, a crescent moon and a star. I am Muslim and my religion is Islam. It has a lot in common with Judaism and Christianity. My friends Miriam and Peter shared their important holidays with you and I want to do the same. Today we are celebrating Eid el Futter, the end of Ramadan, a month long period during which we fast. That means that we do not eat or drink anything from sunup to sundown every day for a month. Ramadan is the holiest month of the year for Muslims. But you need to know the story of my faith in order to understand why. About 600 years after Jesus was born, the prophet Muhammad was born in the land that we now call Saudi Arabia. In those days, while Christians and Jewish people already believed in one all-powerful God, the people living in Saudi Arabia still believed in many gods and goddesses. Muhammad believed that he heard the voice of God, sending him messages of how to lead a better life, a life of helping others. According to our religious teachings, Muhammad became a prophet and he began to spread God's message throughout the land. Muhammad taught that the rich should share the wealth with the poor. During Muhammad's life, the stories that he received from Allah, the Arabic word for God, were never get written down because Muhammad could neither read nor write. But later, they were written and collected into the Muslim holy book, the Quran. The Quran has some stories that are the same as the stories told in both the Hebrew Torah and the Christian Bible. The Quran also contains laws about how to live a good life. The month of Ramadan celebrates the time that the Quran was revealed to Muhammad. One reason Muslims fast at this time of year is because Muhammad fasted in the desert before he received God's messages. Another reason is to help us remember the poor and the hungry. It is a month of close family activities and much praying. Speaking of prayer, let me show you my mosque. A mosque is the Muslim place of worship, the spiritual center of the Islamic community. Sometimes mosques are very fancy like the Dome of the Rock in Jerusalem. Ours is not quite so fancy as that, but it is a place I love to go, especially at night during Ramadan <clears throat> Usually a mosque has one or two towers known as minarets, and it is from there that the holy man calls us to prayer. Inside the mosque, you will find, not find rows of seats like there are in churches and synagogues. Instead, we remove our shoes and outside the mosque and gather on prayer rugs. Often, women and men pray in different areas but all of them listen to the <clears throat> Imam, the man who leads the prayers. Tonight, Muslims will gather together under the crescent moon to surrender or give control of our lives over to God. That is, after all, what the word Islam means, surrender to God. Then we will break the fast together, first with a date and some water as we always do, and then with a marvelous feast. Yum! <clears throat> All Muslims must follow the five pillars of Islam, the five most important duties <clears throat> we should do to be good Muslims. Praying five times each day in the direction of Mecca, Muhammad's birthplace is one of the five pillars or duties we must perform. Another pillar is, fast, is fasting during Ramadan. Other pillars include helping the poor and needy and making a pilgrimage 
or visit to Mecca at least once in our lifetimes. The most important pillar, the Shahada, is declaring our faith in, in one God. We say there is no God but God and Muhammad is his prophet. Muslims believe that Abraham, Moses, and Jesus were all great prophets. But Muslims believe that the greatest of the prophets is Muhammad. Likewise, while we believe in some of the teachings of both the Hebrew and the Christian Bibles, all of our beliefs are in the poetic book known as the Quran. Miriam, Peter, and I belong to three different religions, but I hope that you have learned how many similarities we share. I have the same wish for the world as Peter and Miriam. Asalamu alaikum. Peace be unto you. All right, guys, this is the end of this read aloud series. Um, there will be other series, so look for them. Thanks.